Okay, so let's have a look at some volume and shape questions for the 0580 and 0607 IGCSE maths papers. Uh, here's the first one. Um, we've got a diagram, sector of a circle, radius zero, sorry, center zero, radius 24, and it says calculate the value of x. Okay, it says the total perimeter is 68. Now, be very careful on this question. The total perimeter is 68. Uh, not this part here. So this bit is not 68. The whole perimeter of the shape is 68. Well, we know that this is 24. Because it's a radius, this must also be 24. And if the total perimeter is 68, therefore this must be 20. So don't fall into that trap. Um, work out this as 21st. Okay, next we know that that is 20. We're going to use the formula for the arc length. The arc length formula is theta over 360 times by 2 pi r. That's going to tell me the arc length, and then I can just basically stick my values in. So therefore, the perimeter, so the arc length rather is 20, is equal to x over 360 times 2 pi times, well, the radius is 24. Um, I'm going to stick it into my calculator, so do 20 divided by 2 pi times 24 times by 360. I'm going to get x is 47.7. First question. Okay, uh, the next part. Uh, this is pretty tough because it follows through from the previous answer. Um, and we want to find the volume of the cone. So this is the previous shape that we saw. You then cut it out. You then fold it up so it looks like this. And then we want to find the volume of this new shape here. The, the key to this question is to know that this 20 that we worked out before, we know that this distance here is 20, this becomes the circumference of the new circle when we fold up the cone. So this green bit here has a circumference of 20. Okay, and then we look at this, we want the volume of a cone. The formula is 1 third pi r squared h. So we need the radius. We don't know the new, the new radius of this. Okay, it's not 24, it's this distance here. And we also need to know the height. We don't know the height either. This is why it's a difficult question. So step number one, let's find out what this radius is on the new circle. Well, we know that the circumference is 20. So 2 pi r to the circumference is equal to 20. That is going to tell me that the r is 3.18. So this distance here is 3.18. Okay, so that's the first step. The second step is to say, well, actually, I now want to find the height of this cone, the perpendicular height. Well, I'm now going to use Pythagoras. So I know that this distance here is 3.18. This length is the radius. That was the old radius, which was 24. So you can see from O to B is 24. There we go from O to B, this length here is 24. So I've actually got a right angle triangle where I've got the height, which is what I want to find. The length of the hypotenuse is 24. And then the radius, which I've just worked out, is 3.18 dot, 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 dot. I'm not going to round this. I'm going to use the, the exact answer. And this is what I've got. So if I use Pythagoras, so 24 squared, take away 3.18 dot, 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 squared, square root it. I'm going to get h is 23.7 something, something, something. Okay, so I've done lots of work so far. And then finally, I can now actually use my volume of a cone formula. So 1 third pi r squared h. So 1 third times pi times 3.18 dot 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 squared times by h, 23.7 dot 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 dot, equals, and finally I can round it, it's going to be 252. And just to make sure that we don't lose any final marks, let's just put the units in for there as well. So the units are going to be uh, centimeters cubed. Okay, so... Be careful in this question not to round too early, so keep your exact answers, keep your exact answers until the very end, and then you can round. Now, that's a pretty tough question. That would probably be an A star question. Okay, here's another probably grade A A star question. Uh, it starts off okay, uh, gets a bit more tricky in a minute. Um, uh, well, even this bit's a little bit tough. Um, show that the radius of the top circle uh, is 4.5. Okay, what you need to do for this is, is kind of spot 
some, I guess, similar shapes. So let's have a look here. We've got this length is 2.7. Well, if this is 20 and this is 8, then this length here must be 12. So we can actually, in effect, we've got a triangle that looks something like that. Something like that. Okay, where we know that this length here is 12 and this is 2.7. So I've drawn an equivalent triangle here. Obviously, it's just facing facing the other way. It's the same thing. So I've got 2.7, and I've got this length here is 12. Okay, and in the same way, I've got a bigger triangle. So if you think about what the bigger triangle looks like, the bigger triangle is going to look something like this. So again, we've got a triangle something like that. Uh, and again, it's just the opposite way around, but this is the radius, this is r, and then this total length here is 20. Um, and basically what we're asked to do, now we've lined up those two, two triangles, is to show that this that this r value here is 4.5. Okay, well now we've done the sketch, we can see hopefully that it's going to be a similar, uh, sim similar shaped question. So how do you get from 12 to 20? Uh, if I do 20 divided by 12, I get the scale factor is 1.6666 recurring. So therefore, I do 2.7 times by 1.6 recurring, and yet I do get 4.5. So the key on this question is to be able to sketch out and find where the similar shapes are first. Okay, and again, it follows through from the previous question. It says, now it says, find the volume of the water in the cup when it's full. So that this this part here, so the, the shaded bit is the cup and this is the bit that's going to be full. So this dotted line here, okay, that's not part of the cup, it's just the shaded part here. Okay, so basically what you're trying to do is, yeah, we're going to basically look at a volume of a, fr a frustum. So we've got the volume of the big cone, so imagine the, the whole cone was there. So we'd have this big cone including the dotted lines. Um, imagine what we'd have with the little cone. So the little cone is just this, this bit here that's missing. And if we did the volume of the big cone, take away the volume of the little cone, what would be left is the shaded area. Okay, so we basically put those values in. We know that the, the length of the big cone, the, the height rather, is 20. And we know that radius is 4.5. So this is the volume of the big cone. The volume of the small cone, well again we know that this is 12 from the previous question, so we do 1 third pi times 2.7 square times 12. Volume of the big cone, take away volume of the small cone, what must be left is the shaded region, so 332.5 centimetres cubed. Okay, let's have a look at another volume question. Uh, volume of the trophy. I've just labelled some points in. The sphere has a radius of 15, so I've, I've labelled that in there. The cylinder has the same radius, so that's also 15. And the, the base cylinder has a radius of 25. So it looks something, something like that. The base is a cylinder uh, where this is not drawn especially well, but that's going to go up to the middle, and that's going to be 25 like that. Okay, so... Uh, once we've labelled the triangle, basically we just need to uh, add all the different volumes together. So um, we've got three different formulas that we're going to be using. Volume of a sphere, 4 thirds pi r cubed. So we know that 4 thirds times by pi times by 15 cubed. That's the volume of the sphere on top. Volume of the, the first cylinder, cylinder 1, pi r squared times... Uh, h, pi times 15 squared times by 40, that's the length. Volume of the second cylinder, well, the radius is 25, and the height is 12, pi times 25 squared times 12. Those are my three different shapes. Add them all together, therefore the volume is going to be 66,000 centimetres cubed. Okay, part B. Um, Calculate the total height of each model trophy. Um, well, we just kind of carry on from the previous question. If we know that this radius here is 15, then the total diameter is going to be 30. We already know that that is 40. We already know that is 12. So therefore, we just um, 
add them together. That's the total height of the real trophy. But here we go, the model is similar and one fifth of the height. So the, the real height of the trophy, we just add them together, but we then divide it by five to find the height of the model, which is 16.4. Okay, now, the last one's a bit tricky. The mass of each model trophy. So the model is a similar shape because it's one-fifth the height. So therefore, the, the scale factor, the length scale factor is one-fifth. So the length scale factor is one-fifth. The volume scale factor is therefore going to be one-fifth cubed using the, the relationship between length, volume, area, and volume. Okay, so the volume scale factor is one-fifth cubed. Now, here's the thing. Mass is a volume. Okay, mass is a volume. So if the big trophy is 15 kilograms, then we can just say, well, in that case, we times it by the volume scale factor. So 15 times by one-fifth cubed, which is 0.12 kilograms. And then if we want to put it into grams, well, they've asked us to put it into grams. So times it by 1,120 grams. Okay, so a few quick questions all about volume. 